long time ago, there was a king of Edinburgh in Scotland called Thomas. King Thomas was getting older. The old king had only one son, Prince Alim. Alim had also grown up. That's why Alim was crowned as a king with great fanfare. Sitting on the throne, he performed his duty well towards the people. Under his watchful eye, the people of the kingdom used to spend their days very happily and peacefully. Prince Alim used to visit all the princely states every night in the disguise. One night, when Prince Alim was roaming around the kingdom in disguise, he saw a sick old man. <coughs> you are you, son. I, I haven't seen you before. I am a traveler. I am new in this state. Son, <coughs> you have done me a great favor today. <coughs> May God bless you, bless you. <coughs> How did your condition become like this, grandfather? <coughs> I... I used to be very ill since childhood. My father passed away at a young age. My widowed mother brought me up with great difficulty. <coughs> one day, one day my mother too passed away. I lived in a small hut. I was forced to sell it because of debt. <coughs> since then I live in this road. I eat by begging. <laughs> I can't do any work. I eat by begging. <laughs> I cannot do any work, son. Alim was very impressed to hear this. He arranged for the rehabilitation of all the beggars in the state the next morning. King Alim. One night, when King Alim was roaming around the kingdom in disguise, he saw a thief climbing through the pipe of a house of the second floor. King Alim immediately caught him. Hey, who's there? Who are you? Is it your house? Uh, no, no, sir. Then? If you tell me all the truth, then I will not hand you over to the king. Got it? Uh, sir, I am very poor. I work as a laborer in the morning. What I earn does not support the family. The health of my wife at home is also very bad. Far from seeing the doctor, I could not even manage medicine. I will give you work. But you have to promise that you will not steal again in life. Got it? Sir, I have come down to steal for the sake of my sinful stomach. If I eat full stomach for two days, I will never walk on this path again, sir. Never. Well, tomorrow morning you will have to go to the king's palace and meet the king. Being very scared, he hugs Alim's leg and says, have mercy, my lord. Have mercy on me. Please, please, don't report the king. Please, please, sir. Please. Alim gives his introduction. I am the king, but you have no fear. I did not ask you to come to the royal court for any punishment. I will give you one last chance. But if I see you stealing again, I will get you punished. This is my last warning to you. Hail, hail, my lord, your infinite grace, my lord, infinite grace. Thus King Alim used to stay awake whole night to help the poor people in different parts of the kingdom. As a result, every person of his kingdom was very happy. The old king was thinking about the marriage of Prince Alim. 
But the prince thought that no one would want him to be a king and wander around the whole kingdom in the darkness of the night. Like this, no princess would want to marry him. However, he could not even tell the king as no one except him knew about his visit. Then the prince put forth a condition. If a princess recognized him late at night, only then will he marry her. Thinking of this, he decided that he would test those princes in disguise in the dark of night. One night, King Alim went to the neighboring kingdom of Scottish Highlands in disguise. Escaping from the eyes of the guards, Alim entered the princess room inside the palace through a pipe from behind the palace. King Alim wore a robe and a turban on his head. The princess did not recognize him. The princess got very scared to see him and closed both her eyes and calls out loudly. Thief! 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 Alim leaves from there slowly knowing the situation. But before leaving, he left a small note on the princess bed. The guards came running and asked, Where is the thief princess? Princess, where are you dreaming? The princess opens her eyes and sees that no one is anywhere. No, this is not a dream. I actually saw a man entering my room. The guards went out and searched around the palace, but no one saw anyone. Alim had gone far away by that time. The guards came and informed the princess. We found nobody. Okay, you may go now. Saying that, she lies down again and only then her eyes fell on the small letter kept by the bed. The princess quickly opens the letter and starts reading. It is written in the letter. I am King Alim, privileged son of King Thomas of Edinburgh. I came here to talk to you. The princess gets very upset after reading the letter. As she finds out, a good opportunity has been missed. The next day, King Alim became very alert. He sneaked out in the night and entered other neighboring kingdom. Today, Alim walks very carefully so that even the sound does not come out. As soon as he stepped into the princess room, as soon as he stepped into the princess room, he saw that the princess was fast asleep. She kept sleeping in a senseless deep sleep. Alim was forced to come back through the previous route. Now only one kingdom Glasgow remains, but it is far away. King Alim enters that kingdom in the guise of a very common man. It was a winter night. Everyone went to sleep a little early. The streets are deserted. Alim slowly entered through the back door of the palace without making any sound. Then when he entered the princess room after escaping from the eyes of the servant, Princess Laila was reading a book. Laila was not upset seeing Alim. Instead, she said with a serious face and funny eyes, What do you want? May I know the reason for coming here? Alim was surprised. He says, uh, Aren't you scared seeing a stranger like me? Why? Scared? Me? You ought to be scared. Me? Yes, you. This is my house. This is our palace. If I want, I can call the guards right now and hand you over to them. Do you know? Yeah, I know. But I will not do that. I am impressed by your courage. I can understand that you are not an ordinary person. Alim was very happy to hear the words of the princess. Acknowledging his fearlessness and intelligence, he introduced himself and said, I am the King Alim of Edinburgh. I am impressed by your intelligence and bravery. Hearing Alim's words, Princess Lala stands up in surprise. Alim says, I want to see you as the Queen of Edinburgh. Lala was very shy after hearing all this and says, I don't mind if my parents allow. Seeing Lala blushing, he says smilingly, 
ओके ओके आई विल मीट योर फादर टुमारो मॉर्निंग saying this alim came out and returned to his kingdom avoiding the eyes of the guards the next morning glasgow appears before the king of the kingdom of alim with many gifts my lord i am king of kingdom edinburgh i want to marry your daughter king was very happy to meet alim he said This is very good offer. I don't mind, but you have to know the opinion of princess. The king called the princess. Princess Lila comes and sees Alim and understands everything. This is King Alim of Kingdom Edinburgh. I want you to marry him. If you agree, I will tell him yes. Lila smiles and says, "Agreed, father." Hearing this, Alim's face lit up with happiness. Then, on auspicious day, Alim and Lila got married. Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon for upcoming videos.